Hello, Aubrey. Uh, happy New Year. We are yes. recording this episode right after New Year. So and happy know- birthday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I need to talk about that on every episode. Now. Absolutely. If you guys are keeping track, if you've heard the last few episodes, we're keeping account of how many times we mentioned Jessica's birthday. We're going for a record this year. <laughs> I do talk about it a lot. Okay. Um, So guys, we have an awesome grammar episode for you today. Um, We want to remind you to hit follow because we actually have a lot of awesome grapper grammar episodes. <laughs> grapper episodes. That was funny. Grammar episodes. Um, in fact, we like just did one last week, right? Yes, exactly. And that was a really good one. Scroll up if you missed it. 1348 was called Follow Each and Every Grammar Rule. We shared, you definitely don't have to focus and stress about each and every grammar rule, but we talked about that each and every, why it's actually a pretty simple thing once you understand it. So some tips like this, it's worth hearing an episode, getting these tips so that you don't make this mistake on test day. Imagine if you eliminate even three grammar mistakes from your writing or speaking. That is a difference in a band point, you know? Yes. I mean, it could be. Mm-hmm. So definitely catch up on our grammar episodes, guys. Hit follow so you don't miss any more. Um, today's grammar episode was inspired by a question from a student. Um, he actually emailed us. Wilson, thank you for emailing us. Guys, you can email us your IELTS questions, support at allearsenglish.com. <laughs> well, I'm really mixing up my phonemes today. You are totally uh, fine. All there's English. <laughs> <laughs> See, natives make mistakes and yep. they're funny. Um, all right. Um, Aubrey, can you read that email, please? Yeah, I said, I'm Wilson from Brazil. I've got something to ask you guys. I'd love it if you could talk about different from versus different than. I hear both forms on a regular basis, and I wonder if there is any consistent difference between them. Thanks in advance. Ooh, what a good question. It is it is such an awesome question because I know that natives use both interchangeably. Like they yes. both kind of sound right all mm-hmm. the time. We do mm-hmm. use them both all the time. And I have received this question before from students and had to look into it and was surprised that one is more correct than the other because I thought just as a native speaker, we say them both all the time and they would both be fine, but they're not. Right. I've thought about this before as well, because every now and then I, I will hear a student say one that sounds wrong to me. Like maybe yeah. they'll say, I'm different from this person or something. I'm like, oh, I feel like that should be I'm or they'll say I'm different than this person. And in my mind, I'm thinking that sounded like it should be different from. But if you don't stop and really think about the rules and why as a native speaker, you're sort of like, I don't know why one sounds right. It just does. I guess that's what I hear more. Yeah, so we will dig into these rules a little bit and explain um, why from is considered more correct than then. But I do understand why it's so confusing because then, T-H-A-N, it is a comparison conjunction and preposition, right? We use it to compare things. And when we use the word different, we're comparing two things. So I see why this mistake would happen. Yes. And this comes up all the time on IELTS speaking. You're often making comparisons, right? You might be asked to compare teenagers and adults writing too as well, right? Exactly. So this is a skill you need. You need to be ready to compare two things for lots of different answers and writing topics. So let's start off with an example. Um, Guys, see if one sounds more correct to you, okay? Mm. Teenagers are different from adults. Their brains are not fully formed. Compare it to this. Teenagers are different than adults. Their brains are not fully formed. Now, taking off my teacher hat here, like they both sound correct. We hear natives say both a lot. Yeah. That's tricky. Or how about this? Which sounds correct? Should from or than follow the adjective? Or are they both acceptable? Uh, That's funny. I thought there was two more example sentences. (laughs) This is just like, which of these is correct? (laughs) But we're yes, really, that's true. I know. It's a we're really of fresh from today. New Year's, aren't we? We're we're, <laughs> we're really on task today. Right. Um, all right, guys. So here's the question today. Should from or then follow that adjective different? Because different is an adjective, right? So grammatically speaking, which one is more correct? Well, 
first let's examine from, okay? So from is a preposition. Um, and prepositions indicate the the relationship between two words, like prepositions of place, you know, like the ball is in the box, in is the preposition. So that is the most sort of obvious uh, uh, type of preposition, but any preposition, that's what it does. It indicates the relationship between two words in a sentence. And we use from a lot, actually. Yes. It's very versatile, right? It can indicate a physical distance between two or more things, like on a map, right? The zoo is five kilometers from the park, mm -hmm. but it can also be, you know, the source, for example, from that day on, I never bought pants online again. <laughs> <laughs> These are great examples. <laughs> And that we, we use it a lot in speaking, you know, as like the source of an, an opinion, right? Mm -hmm. Like um, from my point of view, you know what I mean? Um, from we that could, moment on. Yeah, yeah. There's so many chunks that we use with it. Exactly. Exactly. Or um, another sentence you might use on IELTS. Many of the innovative automobile ideas still come from Japan, right? So from the preposition, it indicates a source of something. So all these example sentences we've given you guys, they could be um, heard on IELTS or read on IELTS. Maybe you're doing a map completion question. But also, more importantly, to our um, target today is that we want to use these words correctly in writing and speaking. Right. And we need to keep in mind that than certainly cannot always replace from, right? Because these are different meanings. We're talking about the source. You could never right. say these ideas still come than Japan. Nope. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's when there's a very specific um, instance of using it that sometimes we interchange from and than. But prepositions, yeah. because they each have their meaning and they're used in different ways, you can't exactly. always think of two of them as interchangeable. It depends on the context. Exactly. And then is also a preposition, which we'll get right. into here in a second. But it's a very different meaning than from, as you just said. All right. So we said that um, then is also a preposition, and it is. But it's only in these comparisons, right? T-H-A-N. We always use it in comparisons. So <clears throat> as a preposition, we could say like, if you're asked about your job and speaking part one, my job is harder than most jobs. So I'm comparing my job to all other jobs, right? So there it is a preposition. I'm indicating the relationship between two ideas, my job and all the other jobs. Right. But there again, like you couldn't put from there. Right. And because different is not a comparative adjective, like smaller, for example, a lot of people will say it doesn't belong with than. So right. you shouldn't say different than. So some people do consider this an error, and there's a chance yeah. that your examiner would consider this an error. So yeah. you should always opt for different from. There are really some uh, strict grammarians who are IELTS examiners and pride themselves on finding your mistakes with really sort of esoteric grammar rules like this. Because as we said at the beginning of the episode, you will hear natives say both interchangeably, okay? Right. Um, now, just one more note on then. Then is also a conjunction. From is never a conjunction, all right? So then indicates the relationship between two things, like we just said as the preposition. But when we're making these comparisons, we can use it as a conjunction between two independent clauses. So my brother is in better shape than I am, right? We have two independent clauses joined by then. And again, we can't use from there. From is not a conjunction. It has a different meaning. Yes, exactly. And one quick note on spelling, the mistake that both native speakers and language learners make is to often mix up then and then, right? One means is like time order. This happened, then that happened. This is such a common error, right? That's T-H-E-N. The one we're talking about today is T-H-A-N. So if you've never thought about that, there's a good chance that you're mixing them up and you need to pay attention to that as well. Well, luckily, that only matters in writing and it right. really does matter in writing because in speaking, we say them exactly the exactly. same. Right. Yes. Then and then we, there's, we say them exactly Just the, the same spelling in is every all accent. Exactly. <clears throat> all right. Um, so it is possible to find examples of this incorrect use different than you might even see it in some writing, like in novels, right? Um, you'll definitely hear it on TV. So 
even though you see it in print <laughs> and mm. you hear it in the movies, that does not mean that it is technically correct. This is one of the most difficult things I think about studying for an exam like the IELTS exam is you cannot, unfortunately, even if you're living in, let's say the United States, you can't just plan on speaking exactly how your neighbors and friends speak, mm -hmm. writing how they speak, because there are errors that are fine in colloquial day-to-day -day language that the mm -hmm. examiner will mark you down for on the IELTS exam. So this is when it does matter, right? You do need to use correct grammar in this kind of case. Natives can make this mistake all day long. You have to be more careful on IELTS. And, you know, we've done some really fun episodes in the past um, regarding mistakes that natives make that you can't make on IELTS, like um, phrases that we say incorrectly, whole chunks of language, like for all intents and purposes, we say <laughs> people mess that up, right? Purposes, and say, yes. For all intensive purposes, which is not correct, which is not the phrase. So, um, yeah, natives make mistakes all the time. But unfortunately, if you make these mistakes on IELTS, they will lower your score. So the takeaway today, guys, is that using different from and different than as comparison phrases, they both many would consider them both standard in informal English. All right. But for IELTS, we want to follow the grammar rules as much as we can. So always use different from. OK, because then you will always be safe. Yes. When in doubt, different from. Exactly. Awesome. Great episode today. Quick it's tips. Very fun. <laughs> As always. Yes. Oh, I love that part of our takeaway is that natives make mistakes all the time because you and I were just fumbling our words at the beginning. Right? Okay. Maybe we are the poster me, child. Still. We are the poster <laughs> children of making mistakes sometimes. It happens. It's called <laughs> modeling. And we did that on purpose. It was all right? intentional. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right, guys. So we will be back on Friday with another episode. If you are ready to really commit yourself to getting the highest scores on IELTS, guys, check out our online course, Lifetime Access, feedback for everyone on the final exam. Check it out, allearsenglish.com slash K-E-Y-S. Awesome. See you Friday. See ya. Bye. Bye.